Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is the second video I'm posting about my botanical experiences on the beautiful Greek island of Kos. And since this is a houseplant channel, this video is all about the houseplants that I discovered on this beautiful island. As I said in my first video, this mystery aroid is everywhere on this island. If you know what plant this is, please let me know in the comment section. I would say that this beautiful flowering succulent is a euphorbia, but I'm not really sure. But I am very sure that these huge trees are actually euphorbia plants. And since we are in the Mediterranean, of course you can spot orange trees just everywhere. And from time to time, as you can see in the back, also a lemon tree. On this island, some houseplants that we know in a somewhat small size are just extra large. And this beautiful cactus is what we call a statement plant. The white spines on this Opuntia cactus tree look really painful. And here we got a whole army of euphorbias beautifully flowering with red flowers. This huge cactus looks actually more like a shrub and its spines can definitely match the spines of the Opuntia. And these aloe plants are so happy that they are flowering. A very nice surprise was this Trodescantia pallida. And apparently banana trees also grow in Europe. I really enjoy just driving through the island and enjoying all the beautiful plants. Now I have a couple of ficus elastica plants in my apartment but this guy really steals the show. And I have to say that this cat is a little bit silly because she has mistaken this fishbone cactus for a real fishbone. This pencil shaped succulent is really stunning. This Opuntia is clearly the winner of the fight he just had with this Opuntia. This Schefflera plant is nicely variegated. And here you can see a somewhat uncommon succulent which is called Gasteria. This here is a beautiful dark Ionium tree and of course we also have a Cordius plant. This here is an uncommon houseplant called Tradescantia silamintana white velvet. Here we have another beautiful green Ionium plant. Greece is a Christian country, so the best kept buildings are churches. If you want to know what your Monstera would look like if you put it in the blazing direct sun, well, here you go. This giant Opuntia is showing off its flowers. Now, driving through the mountains, of course, was really an amazing experience because there was hardly any traffic. But this lack of human traffic doesn't mean that there wasn't another type of traffic. For these goats, clearly the safety rails are just a toy. Since Kos is not a very big island, most of the time you could see the sea. I also really love just driving through these streets and try to spot what houseplants the people kept on their balconies. 
Of course, most of those plants were succulent because of the Mediterranean climate. We also had the occasion to visit the tree of Hippocrates. It is a plane tree under which Hippocrates taught his pupils the art of medicine. This current tree is 500 years old, but it is said to be a descendant of the original tree that stood here 2400 years ago. In any case, it's quite an impressive tree and as you can see, this guy needs more than a moss pole for support. Most of the time it was really hot and humid and we seemed to be the only people on the streets. This beautiful succulent is called Doroteanthus and is native to South Africa. As a cactus and succulent enthusiast, I could really appreciate all the different species they had growing outside. And then, all of a sudden, I saw my mystery aroid, this time with flowers. We did a lot of driving through the island and some of the higher situated places really had some spectacular views of the sea. And obviously on such a windy island it's not surprising to see a windmill. All the roads that led to the mountains were actually pretty recent and very well kept. Now since I'm not only a houseplant lover but also a cat lover, each day I bought a couple of cans of tuna and every day I made one cat very happy. Okay, this concludes the second video about my botanical experiences on the beautiful island of Kos. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking it and or subscribing to my channel. For now, I wish you a very nice day and I hope to see you back real soon on my channel. Bye bye.